Hello and welcome to Indus News. Coming to you from our studios in Lahore, I am Fiza Jamal. These are the top stories of this hour. Pakistan has rejected Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi's renewed rhetoric about using aggression to subdue it. Foreign Office spokesman Mohammad Faisal said that Modi's statement was for domestic political gains. He said that such jingoistic statements served no purpose. Earlier, Modi said one war was not enough to reign in Pakistan. Modi said India was open to conditional talks. Pakistan said its offer of dialogue to India had been turned down. Meanwhile, an Indian spy drone has been shot down by Pakistani forces after flying across the line of control. Pakistan's military has warned that not even a quadcopter would be allowed to cross into Azad Kashmir. Earlier, the Foreign Office summoned India's acting High Commissioner to protest the martyrdom of a woman on the line of control. Pakistan said that India's ceasefire violations threaten regional peace and may lead to a strategic miscalculation. Moving on, the European Union and US have condemned violence and irregularities in Bangladesh's general elections. Brussels and Washington said opposition parties were denied a level playing field. The opposition OK Front Alliance and Supreme Court Bar Association have rejected the results of Sunday's elections. Meanwhile, Bangladeshi authorities have cracked down on journalists who exposed voting irregularities. Next up, the PLO has said Israeli occupation forces martyred more than 300 Palestinians last year. It said that Israeli authorities approved construction of over 10,000 illegal settler houses in the occupied West Bank. Meanwhile, 24 more Palestinians have been arrested in raids on the West Bank. The Commission for Detainees said almost 6,500 Palestinians were detained in 2018. And two days after a gas explosion destroyed a residential building in Russia, rescue workers have recovered 11 more bodies. Russia's emergencies ministry said the death toll in Magnitogorsk has now risen to 19. More than 20 people remain buried in the debris of the collapsed building. These are all the top stories for now. Thank you for staying with Indus News.